Hey, James here. I'm just going to have a quick look at a couple of basic examples of curve deformers and just show you how they work in Harmony. There is going to be a tutorial that follows this, so this isn't meant to be a tutorial, it's just sort of showing these deformers because I think they're really cool and you can do some interesting things with them. And first I'll sort of show you, this is basically just a box and as you can see I can bend it into all sorts of weird shapes and stretch it out and do all those sorts of things with just a plain box. And if I have a look at the deformers, let's just zoom in now. Actually, maybe let's change the color of this drawing because it's not very good for you seeing the deformers. And now you can see the deformers. And let's zoom in on this. And you can see that they're just it looks like when you're on a contour editor and you can just grab these points and you can move it around and create all sorts of different shapes and also move the contours and you obviously can animate them which is what makes it so powerful so I've got another quick example here which is just a sort of a basic rope swing it's not the greatest rope swing you've ever seen but it sort of demonstrates the purpose So, I'll just put on the deformers for this. As you can see, there's three or four of them like bones, so that I can create a number of different things. So you can see I can like grab this and pull this one out. And I can grab this one. And so you can create fluid curves at you know, multiple points. This would be obviously great for something like a towel or of a dragon or something like that if you're animating that sort of thing. This would just be the absolute perfect tool for it. So now I hope you'll sort of like this sample and I'm sure you'll see some much better artistic ones around on YouTube and if you want to go on and actually learn how to do this I've been going to do a tutorial which will go through setting up these curved deformers.